Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, and today I'm going to do a tutorial to show you how to get your G27 to work properly with Farming Simulator. So the first step is making sure you have a G27. Next step is download the Logitech Profiler. You can get this from Logitech.com. I'll put a link in the description. Next thing is go to Global Device Settings. Click on that. And this is what you'll see when you first install your G27. So you'll have all your defaults here. The most important thing in this menu is Report Combined Pedals and then set your degrees of rotation to whatever you prefer. These settings up here for force feedback device settings, that's just personal preference. Some people like it more, some people like it less. It really depends on your particular preferences. So these settings don't really matter for the actual effectiveness of the wheel in the game. It's just personal preference for force feedback. All right, next step, in-game. One quick little point, make sure after you make the setting changes, you'll press OK to actually apply the changes. Sometimes what happens is, FarmSim doesn't recognize the settings have been saved, so sometimes you may have to come back into global device settings and just press OK again to make sure they apply to Farming Simulator. All right, the next step is get in Farming Simulator 2015 or 15. Go to Options. First thing you want to do is go into Miscellaneous right here and make sure your steering, steering wheel or slash gamepad is on to make sure that it's actually activated in the game. Next step is go into Controls. Okay, the next thing you do is find the action that says accept menu item and make sure you bind that to a particular key on your G27. This used to be a big problem back in the day. I'm not sure if it's still a problem, but in order to avoid any possible problems, make sure you bind it to a key just in case. Next thing you're looking for is drive forward, drive, for drive forward, backwards, steer right, steer left. So what you want to do is select drive forward, click on the button over here and hit your accelerator. That'll bind it to a particular axis. Your axis may be a little different than mine. Should work. What you can do as well is you hit the back drive backwards and hit the brake pedal. That's an alternative way you can do it. So make sure you, you try them both, see what happens. Uh, sometimes what will happen is if one's not working, you can try uh, hitting one and it may change the axis. It may change depending on the scenario. Next thing you want to do is steer right, steer left. So click on steer right. Make sure you turn your steering wheel all the way to the right and then wait for it or bring the steering wheel back to the center and that'll bind it to the axis. I tend to do it for each steer right, steer left, even though it's not necessary. Just being thorough. Of course, once you've done all the changes you, you want for your gamepad, which in this case is your G27, make sure you hit the save button. That'll actually exit out of the game and then come back into the game. All right, here we are in game and farming simulator and watch, let's, let's just do a little test here to make sure everything's working properly. Hit the accelerator, check. If I hit the brake, check. If I turn my steering wheel to the left, good. If I turn my steering wheel to the right, good. So there you go. That is how you get your G27 to work with Farming Simulator 2015. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you enjoyed yourself, why don't you go ahead and hit that share button. I really appreciate that. My name's Ian Robson, and I'll catch you guys later.